Thank you for joining this lesson. Kindly subscribe to our channel. You can also contact me through 0704-153-366. In case of any questions, feel free to inquire from me. We're going to study the applications of the Fleming's right hand rule in the determinations of the direction of an induced EMF in the process of mutual induction. So we are told that uh, the Fleming's right hand rule says that if the thumb and the first two fingers of the right hand are held mutually at right angles such that the first finger is pointing in the direction of the field, that is the magnetic field, the thumb pointing in the direction of the motion, motion of the conductor, then the second finger points in the direction of the induced current. So we know that uh, when inside a magnetic field, a conductor is made to make some relative motion, then an induced EMF is created, which leads to an induced current. And now we have to determine the direction of this current being induced. So that's why we are saying now, when the first three fingers or the thumb and the first two fingers are held mutually at right angles, mutually at right angles, that's what we're going to demonstrate just now, mutually at right angles, such that, such that uh, the first finger is pointing in the direction of the field, the first finger is pointing in the direction of the field, then the thumb in the direction of motion, we will have the second finger pointing in the direction of the induced current. So if your fingers are held such that they are mutually at right angles of the right hand like this, then the first finger is going to show you, or you make sure that the first finger is pointing in the direction of the magnetic field, then the thumb in the direction of the motion of the conductor, the direction to which the conductor will be moved to, then automatically, as long as they are mutually at right angles, the second finger will show you how the current is moving, the induced current. Therefore, we are going to apply the Fleming's right hand rule in an example and see how current will be flowing. If, for example, we are given a current flowing into this paper, when we have these stars, it means current into the paper. So current into the paper like this, current into the paper. Then we have a conductor. We have a conductor PQ, a conducting material, such that an induced current can flow in it. We have a conductor, we can call it conductor PQ, conductor PQ, like that. And we are told that the conductor is moved in this direction. The conductor is moved into this direction. This is motion of the conductor. This one is the field, the magnetic field. Now we want to determine the direction of the induced EMF. So if this is the, the case, then we shall hold again our fingers such that the first, the second, and the thumb are mutually at right angles. And now we make sure that the first finger is pointing the direction of the direction of the field. So we are saying the field is going into the paper according to these symbols. So it is into the paper. And then we ensure that the thumb, the thumb is pointing the direction where the conductor will be taken to. So with the first finger pointing the direction of the field, then the thumb pointing where the conductor will be taken, as long as they are mutually at right angles. Then now, the second finger will show us how the current induced will flow. And for this case, in the conductor, induced current will be flowing from P to Q. So that is how we apply it. So induced current now will be flowing in this direction. So induced current or current flows in the direction PQ, in the direction PQ. 
if for instance we have a, <clears throat> a contra case whereby current is going into the paper current is going into the paper like this then we have the conductor being moved in the opposite direction now in the opposite direction now current the conductor can be conductor ab for this cut for this case we can have conductor ab such that conductor ab is moved to the right hand side this is the motion of the conductor the direction of the field again is into the paper therefore when we try to hold the fingers again mutually such that the first finger is pointing the direction of the field and the thumb is made to face the direction the direction of the conductor's motion then again the second finger will show us the direction of the current which is induced so we can see when we hold them directly like this the first finger the second finger and the thumb if we hold them like this we will strain to half the thumb pointing the direction of the motion therefore it is advisable you overturn the paper just overturn the paper because overturning the paper doesn't change the motion of the conductor neither does it change the motion or the direction of the field therefore now you can apply the flaming's right hand rule comfortably by having your first finger pointing in the direction of the current then the thumb pointing the direction of motion of the conductor and definitely your second finger will show us the direction of the induced current therefore according to this second finger the induced current is flowing from b towards a therefore now you can turn your paper and respond that current flows from b to a from b to a so that is how we apply the flaming's right hand rule in determining the direction of an induced current thank you for following subscribe and share the link